Gentlemen, let's get personal for a moment. Have you ever wondered what really happens to your body when you ejaculate every single day after 50? Not just in the heat of the moment, but the next morning or a few hours later. Do you ever feel strangely drained? A little foggy? Maybe less motivated? Or on the flip side, calmer, more relaxed, even lighter? Here's the big question. Is daily ejaculation after 50 helping you or quietly hurting you? You're not alone for asking. Millions of men in their 50s, 60s, and beyond wrestle with this. And the truth is, most doctors never bring it up unless you ask first. But today, we're going to break that silence because what's happening inside your body, I mean your hormones, your brain chemistry, your pelvic floor, even your long-term health is too important to ignore. Stick with me because by the end of this video, you'll not only know the truth, but you'll also have a clear roadmap for protecting your vitality, confidence, and dignity for years to come. Before we dive in, hit that like button, drop a quick comment to let me know where you're watching from, and don't forget to subscribe because here we talk about men's health with honesty, compassion, and science. First, let's bust one of the biggest myths. That ejaculation itself is bad after 50. It's not. Ejaculation is a completely natural biological function. It's your body doing exactly what it was designed to do. In fact, research shows that regular ejaculation can reduce prostate cancer risk, relieve stress, improve sleep, and even support a healthier cardiovascular system. So the act itself isn't dangerous. But here's the truth most men never hear. Frequency matters more than you think. Why? Because after 50, your baseline hormone levels, testosterone, dopamine, serotonin, are already lower than they were in your 20s and 30s. That means every release has a slightly different impact on your recovery, your energy, and your mood than it once did. Ejaculating daily can sometimes tip the balance too far, leaving your system without enough time to recharge. That's where fatigue, mood swings, and dips in drive can creep in. So the real question isn't, is ejaculation bad? The real question is, is your current rhythm supporting your energy or quietly draining it? Hi, I'm Dr. Jocelyn, a urologist with five years of experience working closely with men in their 50s, 60s, and beyond. In my practice, I've seen it all. The frustrations, the fears, the quiet questions men hesitate to ask. And I want you to know, you're not broken, you're not weak, and you're certainly not alone. What you're experiencing is your body asking for a more mindful partnership. And once you understand what's really happening under the hood, you'll be able to adjust with confidence instead of confusion or shame. So let's break it down together. I'm going to walk you through the five most important effects of ejaculating daily after 50, biologically, emotionally, and practically. And then I'll give you a simple action plan to find your personal balance so you can feel strong, clear-headed, and connected again. Ready? Let's start the countdown. One, hormonal roller coaster. Here's what happens immediately after climax. Dopamine spikes, giving you pleasure and satisfaction. Oxytocin rises, making you feel bonded and calm. Prolactin shoots up, telling your body, that's enough for now. The problem? Elevated prolactin can suppress testosterone if it happens too often, too quickly. Biologically, that means less energy, lower drive, and slower muscle recovery. Emotionally, you may feel flatter, less motivated, even irritable. Practically, you notice you're dragging at work, skipping workouts, or simply not feeling like yourself. Have you ever wondered why you felt unstoppable one week and drained the next? Hormones are the hidden players. Two, energy debt. Think of ejaculation like spending energy credits. At 25, your account refills quickly. At 55, the recharge takes longer. Daily release can create a subtle energy debt especially if your sleep, nutrition, or stress management aren't solid. Biologically, your nervous system needs time to restore balance. Emotionally, you might feel foggy, moody, or unmotivated. Practically, it shows up as nodding off in the afternoon, skipping exercise, or choosing TV over connection. This doesn't mean abstinence. It means being mindful of your body's energy bank. Third, pelvic floor fatigue. Ejaculation isn't just a brain event, it's a muscular event. Your pelvic floor muscles contract rhythmically to propel semen. 
When this happens daily, especially if those muscles are already weak from years of sitting or inactivity, strain builds. Biologically, tension or inflammation can affect your prostate and bladder. Emotionally, discomfort undermines confidence. Practically, you might notice more frequent urination, a weaker stream, or a dull ache in the lower pelvis. Think of it like lifting weights without ever stretching afterward. Over time, that tension adds up. Four, emotional whiplash. Have you ever felt strangely sad, empty, or even irritable after release? You're not crazy. That's the dopamine crash, and it's sharper after 50 because your baseline is lower. Biologically, neurochemicals dip more dramatically. Emotionally, old stress, loneliness, or regrets can bubble up unexpectedly. Practically, you may feel withdrawn, disconnected, or avoidant with your partner. Here's the key, awareness. Instead of rushing to distract yourself, pause, breathe. Place a hand on your chest and remind yourself, this is normal. My body is recalibrating. Five, connection drift. Perhaps the most overlooked effect, daily solo release can sometimes replace intimacy. Biologically, your brain rewires to associate release with isolation. Emotionally, you may feel less motivated to reach for your partner's hand, to initiate touch, or to share vulnerability. Practically, relationships can drift, not because of lack of desire, but because connection is being substituted with routine. This isn't about shame, it's about choice. About asking, am I using this habit to restore or to escape? So what do you do? Here's a simple three-step framework. One check-in. After release, ask yourself, do I feel energized or drained? Connected or distant? Let your body answer honestly. Two, adjust rhythm. If daily feels depleting, try every other day or two to three times per week. There's no universal number. The right rhythm is the one that leaves you stronger, not weaker. Three, support recovery. Get seven to eight hours of sleep. Strengthen your pelvic floor, Kegels, hip mobility. Fuel with nutrient-rich foods, leafy greens, lean protein, healthy fats. Stay hydrated. Semen production requires fluid balance. These small shifts protect your hormones, restore energy, and support long-term vitality. I want you to hear this clearly. Needing to adjust your rhythm after 50 doesn't mean you're broken. It means you're wise. It means you're listening. Your drive, your passion, your ability to connect, it's all still there. You simply need to work with your body now instead of against it. And when you do, the benefits ripple outward, clearer focus, steadier mood, more confidence, deeper intimacy. Gentlemen, age is not the end of vitality. It's the beginning of a smarter, more intentional chapter. Daily ejaculation after 50 isn't automatically harmful, but ignoring your body's feedback is. So tonight, tomorrow, whenever that moment comes, just pause. Ask yourself, is this serving me? Is this restoring me? That single moment of reflection is not weakness. It's wisdom. And it's how you'll carry your strength, your clarity, and your confidence forward. If this video resonated with you, hit that like button, subscribe for more real talk on men's health, and share this with a friend who needs to hear it. I'm Dr. Jocelyn. Thank you for trusting me with this conversation. And remember, your best years are not behind you. They're just beginning. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.